to copy files from one folder to another, the quickest way in Linux terminal is to use the rsync utility. It is a very robust tool which can help with copying files from local to local or remote to local or the other way around. So in this example, I'll show you how we can copy files from one folder to another. This is one of the example where I, where I have this original folder and it has got some subdirectories and files and it has also got some files inside. What we will do is we'll copy files from this location into a new folder called backup and we will see how it behaves. So let's get started. Let's first preview our same folder in our Linux terminal. So this is how it looks. So to copy the files, we will use the rsync command. So rsync, and then the first folder where we want to copy it from slash and star. So like from this folder into the backup folder. So what it does is it will create a new folder for us called backup if it's not already created and it will copy all the files but not subdirectories into this folder. So first on top, I will see how my original folder looks and at the bottom I'll see how my backup looks so this command what it does is it will just copy the first level files from the original folders into the subfolder if you want to also copy the subdirectories we need to use another uh, parameter or option which is called R R means recursive so it will loop through all the subdirectories and files it will also copy them as well so if I run this command again you will see that it it has this time it has also copied all the sub subdirectories and their files as well this is how the normal copy paste works there is another uh, option that is instead of using r you should be using a a is for archive what it does is it ensures if there are any kind of symbolic links within your directory or if there is any users different users are owning these files so what A does is it will also ensure that the permissions and ownership is, is also intact when you copy it to the new folder. So instead of R, you should use A. So I'll just show you one more time. So what we will do is we'll delete this folder backup and let's run this command again. It has created this backup folder for us and it has copied all the files and folders for us. Uh, the next question is like how we can exclude some files or directories during the copy sometimes there is a requirement where we don't want to copy all the files only some of them that we want to skip them this is how we can do it so in this example if we want to skip ignore me ignore me as well and don't backup me files this is how I should do it so if I remove this backup files and try again so how you can do is if you want to just exclude one file you can type this command dash dash exclude and then in single course you can put the file name let's say don't backup me dot txt when i run this command you will see that it did not copy that file if you want to ignore the directories as well then you will have to again write dash dash exclude and then here you will write ignore underscore me so if i just say example sake i remove these files and run this again you will see that this time it did not copy this file also this directory as well but this becomes very hectic if there are a lot of folders and files that we want to exclude the shortcut to this is you should be using this command so rsync dash a dash exclude and then you put equals and then you put these curly braces and here you can put comma separated all the files and directories that you want to copy so let's say if i want to put this one then i'll put comma and then single quote again i'll put this one and then i'll put comma and then single quotes again and then i'll put this one and there you go so all that you want to skip and then original star and then backup once I run this command, you will see that it has ignored all those files and directories that we did not want to include. I hope it helps. Thank you for watching.